now if i apply kvl in third loop or mesh kvl in mesh number three mesh number three will be this iz mesh the very first component i start from is this four ohm resistance this time i will look for current that will be flowing in upward direction that means same as iz so once again uh, i hope there is no confusion now this is my four ohm resistance iz is flowing like this in upward direction i x is flowing in downward direction if i define equivalent current in the same direction as iz then the current will be iz minus ix and because i'm also traveling in the direction of this equivalent current that means in clockwise direction the drop that we get will be minus 4 into iz minus ix next will be drop across phi ohm which will be minus 5 into iz minus iy this time because the second current is iy and finally it will be minus 6 the only current through 6 ohm resistance is iz so minus 6 iz equal to z we have written equations in all the three loops but we will need to simplify the equation in the form of ix iy and iz and then we'll have to solve them simultaneously so if you simplify the first equation you can see uh, we have three ix one ix here which is four and four eight ix minus eight i'll send it on the other side so the first equation becomes eight ix minus minus plus iy goes on the other side becomes minus iy minus minus plus four goes on the other side becomes four iz and i'll keep this constant four on the same side so that's first equation here we have plus ix minus iy minus two and minus five that makes it makes it five six seven and eight so minus eight iy and there is only single iz term which is minus minus plus five iz and this will be equal to there is no constant term here so it's simply equal to zero and the third equation will be single ix term minus minus plus four ix then you can see uh, for iy also there's only single term minus minus plus 5iy and for iz we have 4 plus 5 9 plus 6 15 but with a minus sign so minus 15 iz equal to 0 these are the three equations which we can solve simultaneously or you can also solve them using Kramer's rule after writing them in matrix form so whichever method you follow your final answers will be same i1 will be 0.66 amperes i2 will be 0.2 Two, four amperes sorry i x is 0.66 i y is 0.24 and i z will be equal to that's the third current 0.26 amperes but out of this three we were looking for current supplied by four volts battery which was nothing but i x so my final answer which is the current supplied by the four volts battery is i x equal to 0.66 amperes so that's my final answer so please remember that the question can be similar but whenever there is a specific method mentioned in the question you have to follow the same method finding current supplied by four volts battery in this question can be solved in various methods but we have to use mesh analysis because that is what was mentioned